Really often we want to run some checks for our code, like for example linting, before our commit. And we can easily do it by using lint staged and husky. This is why in this video you will learn how to use them together in order to implement such functionality. So what problem do we have? Just imagine you have a huge project like thousands of files and you need to run some linting or checking for it. For example, you want to prettify the code in your changed files. So you are working on some feature, you are finished, now you really want to make your code as in the whole repository, it must be prettified and it must be checked for example with linter, let's say yes lint. And here we have two problems. First of all, if you just run these commands from the console, you will run them for all files inside your project. It doesn't make any sense because it will take ages. And if your project is super big, it can take several minutes. What we want to do instead, we want to run all these commands just for our changed files. And actually, typically you are using git and git knows exactly what files you changed. And the second important point that every single developer can forget to run some commands, for example linting or predefine, before they make a commit or push their changes to the remote. Which actually means we must somehow configure this logic so that all these commands will be called automatically on the commit and secondly it must be used only for the changed files not for the all files. And for this in JavaScript world we are using two most popular tools, which are first of all lint staged and secondly husky. So we are using lint staged to just run some commands for our changed files. And what are changed files? These are staged files inside git. What the stage file means? As you can see now here I don't have any changed files. What I can do? I can jump inside our project in index.js and simply write here console log. For example foo. Now we are writing git status again and we have a file which is not staged. Now after I am writing here git add and git status again, you can see that this file is green, which actually means this is exactly the stage state of the git. When our files were added to the git so they are tracked by git, there are changes in these files and this file is ready to be committed. Which actually means for all these green files that we changed in our feature, we will call lint staged. And this is exactly the point of this library. As you can see here, it run linters or any commands against staged git files, which is exactly what we want. And the second tool that we will use here is called husky. And this is a special package which can add prehooks, for example, for commit or for push. Let's say that we want to run our yes lint and pretty just right before commit, but we want to do it automatically. This is exactly why do we need husky. And what I want to do now here, I generated React application, but it doesn't matter, it will work for any application. And now I want to configure here lint staged and husky together. And the first step here will be to install both packages. First of all, npm install, and we want to install here husky. And secondly, we want to install here lint staged. This is why npm install lint staged. Our next step here will be to install libraries or tools that we will use for linting or predefining. And actually here I want to configure first of all pretty and secondly yes lint, because these are two most popular tools. This is why here let's write npm install pretty and the last one is npm install yes lint. But actually we must configure yeslint, this is why the better command will be npm init at yeslint slash config. And here we are getting nice autocomplete with some questions. Do we want to install this package? Yes, of course. After this, what do we need to do? Here I will simply hit enter on all these questions because we are using here yeslint, we have our JavaScript modules import-export because we have React project, this is our React project, we don't have TypeScript and we are using browser and JavaScript. And here we simply hit yes and we are waiting for installation. So all our packages are successfully installed. Now we can jump back inside our package JSON and configure here our lint staged. And for this we must create a new property which is called lint staged and this is an object. And inside we must provide first of all a pattern which should be called for this specific command. 
For example, we are talking here about React application and we have everything inside of a source folder. This is why it makes a lot of sense to write here source, then to stars, star, dot, and here we can provide different extensions, for example, JS, HTML, and CSS. And actually, if you don't know, to stars means that we are checking all nested directories and here any file name with this extension is valid for us. And what we want to do for this command is first of all call pretty. This is why here I will write pretty minus minus write because we want directly to apply changes to all these files. And actually this means for all files which are found and changed, so they are staged, we will call pretty write, not for all files inside our application. This is important. And secondly, we need to write exactly the same for our ESLint. This is why actually I want to copy this and instead of this write just .js because we want to call ESLint just for JavaScript files. This is why here I will simply write ESLint command. Now we can try to run here our lint staged command. And for this we can write here npx lint staged. I am hitting here enter and this is our output. So first of all we are getting here preparing lint staged and running tasks for staged files. And here we are applying modifications from the task and cleaning temporary files, which actually means it looks like it is working. So we successfully configured our lint staged, now we must do exactly the same with Husky. And actually for Husky we have a special command, which will install our Husky script and configure pre-commit for git. And this is this command, npx husky init and after this npm install. So we are simply running this command and here everything will be installed. After this we must call one more command and this is npx husky add dot husky slash pre-commit and here is npm test. And actually what this command is doing, it will create a pre-commit hook. And this is exactly what we want. We want to have a hook where inside we can provide our lint staged. I am hitting here enter and as you can see we are getting husky updated husky pre-commit. So let's check what was generated. And here inside our root folder we have a dot husky folder. And inside we have two things. First of all, pre-commit file, this is exactly what was generated. And secondly, underscore folder. And actually this folder we should not touch. Inside we have a husky shell script. And here let's open our pre-commit. As you can see here, we are calling husky shell script just from this directory. And after this we have npm test command. And actually what we want to do instead, here we must write a command which will call lint staged. Actually, we can write any command here that we want, it will simply be used on our pre-commit. But in our case here, we want to write npx lint staged. And now is the moment of truth. Let's change our code and check if it's working. I want to jump inside our source, index.js, and here we have a console. And actually for linting, I want to make some error. This is why here let's create a var and we won't use it. This is why it will be unused. Now I want to jump inside console and write here git add dot like we typically do and now git commit minus am and for example checking husky. I am hitting here enter and this is what we are getting. As you can see we are getting here preparing lint staged, which means our command was executed and here are tasks that we are running. Inside package.json we have these two patterns. First of all source for JavaScript, HTML, CSS, this is our pretty and this is ESLint. As you can see pretty is green but our ESLint failed. And here we have skipped and reverting of the commit to the previous state because of our error. And as you can see here, we are getting ESLint error, the React version was not specified. And actually this is just a warning, we will fix it in a second, but after this here we are getting a real error. Property A is defined but never used. And this is exactly what we wanted to get, our husky run lint staged on our pre-commit, which actually means for our changed files. Now we just need to fix these two problems. First of all for this we must jump back inside our ESLinterc which was successfully created for us and here we must provide the settings. Here we need settings property and inside we need key react where inside we will have a version. And actually here we can set a version to detect and then we will never get such error. And after this what I want to do, I want to jump in source index.js and remove this var and console log. 
But actually with this we don't have any changes, this is why at least here we need to write some console log, for example, hello husky. Now let's jump inside console and write here again git add and then git commit checking husky. I'm hitting here enter, we are getting all these validations and after this we are getting a commit, which actually means our code is working correctly and we have a pre-commit task by using lint staged. And actually if you are interested to learn how we can use ESLint together with TypeScript, make sure to check this video also.